So now we're going to build the anode control circuit. And to do that, we're going to put this 24 pin socket here. The opto isolators will go into the socket as they're marked on the board. Then we're going to have six 1K resistors. So R3, R4, R5, R18, R19, R20 go on this side. And the 3K resistors, six 3K resistors, go onto the individual anodes of the tubes. So first of all, we're going to put in the socket into its location. These can be a bit awkward to get in sometimes, but not this time. I'm going to tape it down while I solder it. I'm going to put a tack on one end and a tack on the other. Let's see if that's taken well. That looks, that looks good. And then we can put in the um, opto isolators. We have to squash the leads a bit if they didn't come already squashed. You should hear them click to go in. Sometimes they can be a bit awkward. The dot on them, there's a little dot here the dot goes towards the top of the board. Goes towards the 1K resistors, if you can imagine it that way. Okay, now we're gonna put in the 1K resistors. Bend them over as usual. And we'll put them gently into their places and we'll tape them down of course afterwards. Four go in here and four have to go quite a long way around the rest of the board. So. Um, the Arduino pinout doesn't help us very much. So let us. I'm just going to do, as usual, one lead of each. And we can take the tape off and we can align them so that they look pretty. One here is sitting up a bit, so I will put him down. Okay, and then we can do the other side. That's the four up here. Oh look, I noticed there, look at that, I missed one of the pins. Uh oh. That would have been interesting. Okay, and the last two go here.
Now we put the 3K resistors in, and these go in positions R6, R7, and R8. R7 and R8, R6, R7 and R8, R26, R27 and R28. So these, 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 these. So basically not the ones that have got the little asterisk on them. I'll do these a step at a time because I can't tape them well otherwise. You have to be careful here not to get any solder in the holes of the, uh, the tubes. That's awkward if you do that. The tubes are hard to get in, hard enough to get in as it is without, uh, without filling up the holes with solder by mistake. Six and R twenty seven. Are outside of R thirty nine. So that's it. There's nothing we can do to test this uh, stage at the moment, so we'll move on to the cathode control circuit. So the cathode control circuit isn't going to take us very long. It's a very simple step. We just put the 16-pin socket in there and the K155 in the socket. Let me tape the guy in. Flow it to make sure that the socket is sitting down properly, and now it is. That's that step. Um, now there's a little notch has to go in the same place as the notch on the board. There we 
we are. That's the cathode control circuit done. 